or welcome back to my channel. I'm Verity and I own and work behind prettylittlebutton.com. So this video follows on from another one that I've done recently where I'd gone to France and picked up some craft supplies from Action. I'll link to that video here if you've not seen it and you want to check it out. I bought a variety of different products over there at some really, really cheap prices and I wanted to test them out and see what they were like. Well, in today's video, I'm doing just that. I'm first of all gonna have a look at these. These are the colored pencils that I picked up from Action. They are from a company called Deco Time. They are a Netherland-based company. I don't have any affiliate with them. I don't have any affiliate links and I won't be linking to the products because I don't know if you'll be able to get them in the country that you're in. So it's best if you Google them to see whether you can find them. These colour pencils, there are four tins, so we get four different colourways. We get also pencils that can work on dry surfaces, but they also say if you add some water colour, if you add some water to them, they will also work. So I'm going to test that out today and see how well these work. Another product that I'm going to use today and test out that I showed in the last video is the watercolour metallic paints. Again, these are from Deco Time, so the same company that produced those pencils. I'm also going to be testing them out on both white and colour cardstock to see how well they work, what their intensity is, and it's really, really interesting to see the results. So stay tuned. As I mentioned, I have no links to these companies, so please bear that in mind. These are all of my own opinions, and I haven't been paid to make this video. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've got some watercolour card here and I'm just going to decant a little bit of water out into a dish. So I'm going to do some of the coloured pencils first and just first of all I'll do them on watercolour card because they've got a bit of tooth so it's good to get your um, pencils on. Sometimes a too smoother pencil too smooth a cardstock doesn't always work as well with pencils. Um, so you want a little bit of tooth. Um, and I'm going to take these off completely because I'm not going to keep doing that every time. That will annoy me. I should just say that all of these products I don't have any links, affiliate links to, don't have any links to. Um, as I say, this is I think a Netherlands company. Yep, a Netherlands company. So um, I don't have anything with them. You, um, if you're in Europe and you've got an action need, check them out because you may be able to get these um, and have a go with them. So I'm just going to do just a bit of blending first. So. So I do quite like the ergonomic feel to them. It means I can hold it and I can hold it quite light. So then just keep applying colour. So I'm just going to then do a bit of a blend. So I've got onto a darker pink. So just overlap that. Go back with this one just to get a good blend, and then let's go on with the darker pink. So, obviously, I'm only doing a light layer at the moment because you want to build up the colour. So, you will see some of the white patch room. Bear in mind, this is thick cardstock, this is watercolour cardstock because I do also want to do a bit with water just to compare and I'm just building the colours up and overlapping them not quite at the burnishing stage yet with the colours so the burnishing stage will get rid of pretty much most of those I'm just going to zoom in a bit just so you can see this a little bit more.
little bit more just going into that one just to then burnish that colour. I think that's quite a nice blend from a dark to a pink and what I'll do Just turn the brightness down a little bit. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to do the same, but I'm just going to do some of this colour, then I'm going to do some of this colour, and then I'm going to do some of this colour, just a light colour because I'm then going to use a brush if I can find one so this is a water brush which has actually got some water in it's just so let's just start I'm actually quite impressed with this. That I'm impressed with. So that has, although it's hard to see on here because I did use some pale colours, that has actually done really, really nicely. The pencil and the pigment is moving quite nicely. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do up here and I'm just going to blend this colour out. So you've got... So you can get a lovely look to that. So yeah, I'm actually very impressed with those pencils. For what I paid, that's not bad at all. Uh, there's probably obviously much better quality ones out there that are probably, these probably aren't like for us or anything like that. But for a hobby crafter that likes to do a bit of dabbling in no line colouring pencil, pencil colouring, or they want to then turn their pencil colouring into a water um, colour effect look, then you know you can't go wrong with this for the price that it is. So yeah, I'm really impressed with those. So what I'm also going to now just test out is some of these watercolours. So there are a couple I want to really try colour-wise. I really want to try this lavender because I'm just really intrigued by this. I'm also going to use one of the paint, one of the um, watercolour brushes. I'm not going to actually fill it with water at the moment. I've just got some water here that I'm just going to dip in, get a bit of colour on the end and see what it colours out like. And that does have a lovely colour effect but you know when you can get sometimes you can get some um, paints, watercolour paints that come a bit pigmented bits um, spotted. I feel that that's what this is. So obviously I can dilute it. It's not dried. I don't feel like you get the most metallic look to it. It does look like it's more the colour than the metallic pigment. There is a bit of a shine there but you do have to layer up this quite a bit. So let me just see if I've got a bit of dark cardstock that I could use. So I've got a piece of dark purple cardstock here. And I'm just going to add some of this on 
because sometimes the metallic ones come out more on a dark cardstock. So it's shown up really well on camera and when you layer it up you do get some so yeah this is definitely metallic paint that works really really well on dark colour cardstock you get a beautiful metallic shine compared to the light well it always will be lighter on white but the only thing is I can't see that metallic shine pearlescent shine so much on that but I do see it on that so that's the purple which is beautiful let's just have a look at some of the other colours I like this lovely really lovely lilac -y one so if we go and we do some on the white so yes it is quite a dull colour on the white one and I'm hoping that this one is going to look really really spectacular on the dark cardstock. One thing I am finding with this is I'm getting some of the brushes start to shed or I'm getting I don't know if you can see it, I need to sh change this, but I have a whisker, which is very, very annoying. So this one again, you can see it a bit better on camera, it is there. It will take a couple of layers for that one, I think, but you get a beautiful look again. So yes, these are really great paints, uh, more colour paints for cardstock so I'm going to use this lovely pink now such a gorgeous looking pink I don't think I've got any metallic colours that are that colour really vibrant so yeah it's obviously you're getting that watercolour look that muted colour down on the white one you can see the pearlescence certainly with the the white one that the pale lilac that we've dried now I can really see the metallic in that on there so it does give that look it's really really nice so you do need to give these a chance I think to dry as well and see what they're like now let's just try this one on the dark cardstock so I think this kind of colour needs several layers to build up the intensity I think So we'll just leave that for the time being because I want to try some of in these beautiful, beautiful teal and blue ones. So I'm just going to switch to a different, the different brush so that I don't get them tinged the other colour. So I really really want to try this which is the jade green, this beautiful like mint green colour. Very 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 pale. So I'm not expecting as much on the white watercolour cardstock. And you can, it's, it's got quite a lovely pearlescent metallic shine to it on this one, which you can sort of see in the camera if I tilt it up inside. So as you can see, the paler ones on the dark colour card, on the, on the white colour cardstock, have more of a pearlescence and metallic look to them than the darker rich colours. That one's got a bit more, I think I laid it more than this one did. The, the pink one doesn't so much have so much of a shine. So let's just try this one out on the dark colour cardstock. Oh, this one shows up really nicely. That one shows up really nicely. And it's obviously not as different to that colour. You can see there is a pink tinge in real life and there's a bit of a green tinge. These two, I, I'm absolutely loving that one. It's beautiful. And even that one. So these are working really, really nice on dark coloured cardstock, which is fantastic. That's what I wanted to see because that's what I was expecting. Let me just try this beautiful, I think this is the Brilliant Blue. Um, I really love the colour of this, so I really wanted to try this one out. And then I just want to try a couple of the 
greys in the other one. So let's try this on the white cardstock first. So this is a bit of a bluey grey on the white kind of cardstock. Not that struck on it on there. Let's just see. Oh, this I'm liking. This is gorgeous. So look at that. Oh, I love that. That is stunning. Beautiful colour. Really, really gorgeous. Let's just add a bit more. Yes, absolutely love these. These are well worth the money. So let's just put that one away because I just want to try out some of the greys and silvers in this because I'm really intrigued by them because you get silver but you don't tend to get lots of different colours of silver so to be able to get a few different variations that would be really nice as well I've got a lovely pearl essence in my water now so we have so this is we have cool grey that's cool grey 5 cool grey 9 and black so let's try the cool grey 5 first and this is more like a traditional looking silver let's try that one so obviously watercolour metallics are going to be quite um, translucent they're not opaque necessarily and let's just try it on here wow that is a really great silver You can see that is a beautiful silver. These are looking stunning on the dark colour cardstock. I'm going to skip out the middle silver and I'm going to go to the one that it calls it, was it graphite or black black? And see what that one's like. It's very, it's the strongest probably out of all the ones we've done, but as you'd expect it, it's black, it's going to be the darkest tone. We'll see what that dries like as to whether it becomes so this is actually black I can see this is black on this cardstock which you know you don't necessarily see when you put it in the pearlescence it's more of like a gunmetal grey than a black a full-on black but it is lovely and you can see a difference. That is a very light silver and that is a very dark, almost more like a graphite than a black, but it is lovely. So I'm really impressed with the quality of these paints because I wasn't expecting them to be so good on a dark colour cardstock. But as you can see there, you can see that pearlescence, you can see the metallic, you can see the shine. They are showing beautifully. Look at the colour of that on this cardstock. It's stunning. Obviously, them on white cardstock, they are paler. That one is now showing some pearlescence in the thicker area. So I feel like some of them, you may have to layer them up to get it. But this one, and certainly these paler ones, you can really see the shine. You get more of like a twinkle with the, these ones. They're not so pearlescent, but I expect if you layer them up, you will get a shine. So for, let me just see what what was the price of these again? I've forgotten now. They cost me, the metallics, they cost me one euro 45 cents each. So about one pound 50 with all my um, changes of the fees, my bank fees and exchange rate for each set plus a brush. Now they're not in a tin, but for that price you're not expecting a tin. The only thing is they don't have the labels of the names on them, so I would have to, if I kept them, store them in a different way because I, I don't think I'd want to keep them in the cardboard. Uh, I'd need to put the labels on them so I know what colours they are. They each come with a brush. One of the brushes, as I said, it is starting to have a, a brush hair that's annoying me. Um, so obviously they're maybe that but they work perfectly fine so I cannot fault these I think these are brilliant if you're in if you've got an action near you and you want some watercolor paints and um, you want to have a go with them see whether you start to like them 
These are a great set to start off with. They are not going to break your bank. If you decide you don't like it, it's cost you. So for these three sets, it would cost you about five pounds for 18 colors. It's amazing, amazing. I hope you enjoyed today's video and you were as impressed and surprised as I was. I'm really, really looking forward to using some of these products, especially the watercolour paints in future craft projects. So make sure you keep an eye out for those in my videos. If you're new to my channel, why not think about subscribing? Of course, you can hit that bell icon and you'll be notified when my next video is up. If you're wanting to keep an eye on my blog posts, why not also sign up to my email subscribe list? You'll find a link of that on my blog and I'll link to my blog down below. Make sure you stay tuned as I will bring out the final third video of part of this France crafty haul of testing out some of these products that I brought. Until next time, happy crafting.